Hi, welcome back to Crypto Vagabond's YouTube channel. In this channel, we talk about cryptocurrencies, geopolitics, macrofinance, and everything else that may affect the performance of your favorite crypto assets. If you do like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Today, I don't have as many headlines. I have a few headlines, but they're very important. So please stick around because there's a few headlines that are very significant here. And also, we're going to be talking about Trezor. Trezor is the wallet that I have been endorsing for a long time. The thing is, there has been a hack with Trezor, and I want you to be aware of what that is and how can you protect yourself against that. So please stick around. And as usual, we're going to begin with Bloomberg. And the main headline today is Germany sees end in sight for Putin's imperialism in Russia. Here is the thing. You can say you can see the end in sight of a war, but to call Russia imperialism, regardless of if it is or not, it is a provocation from Germany or German leader towards Putin, the leader of Russia. And here's what has been said. At some point, Russia's war against Ukraine will end. Of course, no war can go on forever. Now, here's another thing. And one thing is certain. It will not end with the victory for Putin's imperialism. Now, this man has pretty much saying that, almost saying, but not really there. That there's a few more commentaries, but basically he's saying that Putin should be taken out of power. Not something that you want to say if you want to remain in peace with that nation or that country. Other headline that also cause provocation and escalation. Ukraine belongs in NATO, just not yet. And again, I don't know what to think of this idea of Ukraine becoming part of NATO. I don't believe that this can happen. And I don't think the offer is genuine. And the reason why I believe that is because Ukraine does not qualify. As a Ukrainian, if I was a Ukrainian citizen, I would love and I would wish to become part of NATO. I do understand Ukrainians. What I do not understand is why promise membership of NATO to a country that does not qualify. Ukraine does not qualify for a few things. There are a few criteria, and I have been saying this here in the channel. That country to become part of NATO cannot be at war and cannot have any separatist movement within the country. Also, it has to have approval of all the other countries that are already part of NATO. First, it is at war. So let's say tomorrow Ukraine become part of NATO. Beautiful. Is Crimea uh, part of NATO? Is Crimea Russia? Is Crimea Ukraine? So things like that need to be answered. The country has to be at peace. As long as there is war, Ukraine will not qualify. Yes, it will qualify to receive help. And that is the problem that I see coming towards escalation of this war. The help, I understand, it should be there. But there is one thing here. Iron Dome ready for deployment in Ukraine. It's been said by the US general. Now, if you're not familiar with Iron Dome, I'm gonna try to oversimplify what it is. Iron Dome is a technology that protects against missiles. It can attack and de destroy several missiles at once. And this technology has been developed by Israel and Israel has the monopoly on this technology and also has the monopoly on what happens to this technology. And you must be asking, okay, Israel has monopoly on this technology. Why only now is being given to Zelensky, who happens to be a Jewish political leader of Ukraine? The thing is, if Israel gives this to Ukraine, there's a few other geopolitical problems that may occur. The borders of Israel depend heavily on the protection of Russia. Russia has the ability to protect and patrol the sky and protect Israel from attacks, from, for instance, Iran. Now, if indeed Israel makes this available to Ukraine, that relationship will be sour. Another thing is a lot of oligarchs in Russia happens to be Jewish. And when Putin, for instance, locks Russia for the male not to exit, like if you are male and the age to go to conflict, Putin can say, you're not allowed to leave the country, you have to go to war. He can do that to the millionaire, the oligarchs that are in Russia that happens to be Jewish. There are so many Jewish oligarchs in Russia that Israel, 15% of the population in Israel, it speaks Russian. So there's a lot of things geopolitically. You cannot just look at one angle. Oh, Israel 
should give this to Zelensky because Zelensky is Jewish. The thing is, once the technology becomes available to Ukraine with the approval, it can only happen with the approval of Israel, the relationship between Israel and Russia are going to go sour and there's going to be further more escalation and Iran will have greater strength to attack Israel. There's a few more problems that can unfold from this, but I don't want to expand or talk too much about this. I want to move to the next subject. If you want to find out a full explanation on the consequences of this, please stay tuned in this channel because I have made a presentation on this for our Crypto Gabons Academy and portion of the presentation I'll bring here to you guys so you can understand a bit more why it is not that simple or Israel should give this to Ukraine and what are the consequences of this technology being available to Ukraine. Again, I believe Ukraine should receive support. It's just that geopolitically speaking, there's a few more angles for us to look and things are a bit more complex than what it seems. There has been peace move made by China, by Brazil, now by South Africa, and pretty much the BRICS country are talking about possible peace. I don't think the peace will be achieved because the two parties are very strong on what is required for the discussion to start. And of course, one thing is Crimea. Crimea is the main point of discussion or the main point of disagreement between the two parties. Now, since talking about peace, in pursuing peace, Japan's leader must also prepare for war. Now, at the time that we are possibly having an escalation and again, coming very close to a non natural possibility of nuclear war, Japan is talking about how the world should go towards a nuclear disarmament. I think this is a bit unrealistic, especially on a meeting between the G7 when they are provoking the largest nuclear capacity nation on the planet. I don't think this is gonna go well, but again, time will tell. Now, since we have already talked about the conflict and the escalation of the conflict, let's talk about a hack that happened on Trezor. And I want to break this down to you. And you need to understand that the Trezor being sold by the manufacturer does not have this hack. What happened here is someone sold a tampered Trezor. So pretty much a person ordered Trezor, not directly from the manufacturer, and what happened is that Trezor has been tampered with on the hardware level. And of course, the hacker was able to draw all the assets that were in the Trezor. I don't think you have to open a Trezor to verify if the hack or the tamper has been occurred. If you know how to open that, that's fine. There's a way to set up and find out if there is some tampering happening with your Trezor. Also, one way to ensure this is please make sure that whenever you order your Trezor, you order directly from the manufacturer. So no, the original Trezor ordered by the manufacturer has not been tampered with and has not been hacked. What has happened is someone, some individuals, have purchased the original Trezor, opened the Trezor, made some alteration on the hardware level of that Trezor, which means tampering with a device, seal the device and pack as a brand new and resell on a non-authorized reseller. So this is not an authorized reseller and it's not a Trezor purchased from the manufacturer. The one way for you to avoid this is make sure whenever you buy a Trezor, buy directly from the manufacturer. I, for instance, coach some persons in the US and I ask them, please order your Trezor directly from the manufacturer here in Europe. If you have to pay for import tax, whatever, please do that because it is worth paying for that for the actual security. So again, make sure whenever you buy a hardware device, you buy directly from the manufacturer. This is the thing that I wanna share with you, which I think is very significant. Now let's talk more about cryptocurrencies. On Ripple case, breaking court victory for Ripple as judge denies SEC motion to seal human dogs. Now the SEC have requested some documents, which happens to be the human dogs to be sealed and the judge did not agree. So this is, pretty much something seen as positive or as a victory for Ripple. Of course, Ripple price will bounce because of this decision. I don't want to go in depth into the Ripple case. It's going to, it has been going on for years and it's going to continue to go on for a much longer time. But it is a victory for Ripple that the judge is going against or not accepting the request from the SEC. So that is it for today. The one thing I want you to get from this video, make sure you buy your Trezor directly from the manufacturer. 
or any other cold storage that you want to buy, make sure you buy directly from the manufacturer so you don't get a tampered device. This is the message that I keep saying and I want to really stress this for you. Do not buy your hardware if not directly from the manufacturer. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please give the thumbs up. If you did not like it, give the thumbs down, but please let me know on the comments below. If you know someone who can benefit from this, especially on the portion of the hardware device, please do share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and I see you in the next video.